Welcome to Days Nation. We bring fun, entertainment, and trivia through these fun videos. Top 10 most expensive houses in the world. Home is where the heart is, or at least that's what they say. In today's video, we're looking at homes that stand out not just for their unique features, but also for the money people have paid for them. In this case, home is where the money is. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. At number 10, we have Xanadu 2.0 in Medina, Washington. With an earth-sheltered architectural style, this home owned by Microsoft founder Bill Gates is priced at a whopping $63 million. It took over seven years to build and brings together the best of nature and technology on the 66,000 square feet it covers. Ever wonder what a billionaire's taste is like? The Palazzo di Amore in Beverly Hills is the perfect example. Owned by billionaire Jeffrey Green, the estate has spectacular views of LA and the canyons around. It's worth $129 million and has its own vineyard, a Turkish spa, a movie theater, and parking for around 150 cars. You can't talk about luxury and not take a trip to the Hamptons. This next house is also one of the largest in the US. The Four Fairfield Pond, has a 91-foot-long dining table, a private theater, and a bowling alley. Like sports, it has a private basketball court, as well as two tennis and squash courts, two each. The house has an estimated value of $248 million. Talking about the world's most expensive houses, how does the world's most expensive apartment sound for a next spot on the list? The Odeon Tower Penthouse towers over Monaco, with a view of the Mediterranean Sea. It's spread over five floors across 38,000 square feet. Curious to know how much it cost? Here's a hint. A parking space here is said to cost around $330,000. Shocked? The property is currently valued at $330 million. Le Palais Boule stands out the moment you see it. Its unique architectural design is said to be inspired by the dwellings of the early man. Facing the Mediterranean Sea, the villa houses three swimming pools, as well as a hillside amphitheater that can seat 500 people. The Bubble Palace's star value only increases from here. Its current owner is none other than Pierre Cardin, the renowned fashion designer. In fact, luxury label Dior used the $390 million property to showcase their cruise collection once. We're not done with Europe just yet. Located in saint jean cap ferrat is the Villa Les Suitres, which was built all the way back in 1830. In 1904, King Leopold II of Belgium purchased it, and today its value is said to be an estimated $450 million. The one house you can't miss is next on our list, and it's called The One. With its own nightclub, bowling alley, salon, and 50-seat theater, this is often touted as the most expensive house in California, and even in the US, as many claims. It's worth a whopping $500 million. However, despite its luxurious charms, the one has been riddled with legal problems. France is home to historical architectural wonders, like the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre. It's also where the next house in our list is located. Located between Monaco and Nice in the French Riviera, the Villa Leopolda has an estimated value of $750 million. Back in the day, it was built by King Leopold II of Belgium for his mistress. During World War I, the property was used as a hospital to treat the injured. What sets a house apart, according to you? Its historical value or its modern features? For the next house, We'll travel all the way to Mumbai, India, to Antia, home to one of Asia's richest business families, the Ambanis. Named after a mythical phantom island from the 15th century, the house is worth approximately $2.2 billion, making it the second most expensive in the world, spread over 27 floors and 400,000 square feet. The house even comes with six floors dedicated to just parking spaces. Isn't that something? Home is where you're the king of everything, or the queen. So it's only apt that the number one most expensive house in our list 
is the Buckingham Palace, home to Britain's royal family and, of course, the Queen. Its ownership is no secret, and although the palace will never be up for sale, its estimated value is around $6.7 billion. With over 700 rooms, 240 of which are bedrooms, the palace covers an area of 39 acres. The palace also has its own ATM and a post office. Now that's a house fit for a queen. Thanks for watching this video. That was Days Nation for you. Keep coming back and stay entertained. Don't forget to subscribe.